Hello and welcome back to Vault Hunters. In the last episode, I said we would be crafting this, the knowledge star in this episode. But I realized something, that the star core is made not out of normal diamonds, but vault diamonds right here. Yep, that block to me looks very similar to a normal diamond block. So I thought it was a normal diamond block, but guess what? It's not. So I thought we would be able to make our very first knowledge star today, but it appears not, unless we do actually have Tubbo who is selling us star cores for two gold coins. And we do have, well, not enough coins. <laughs> this results in five volts silver. And we would need 18. We would need 18 of these in order to buy the vault core. So unfortunately, uh, we have a little bit of grinding to do. But speaking of grinding, we do have this one vault crystal right here, which I want to run immediately. I still need a bunch of star essence and maybe some Larimar gems as well. So we're going to take this vault run and we're going to see how much we can get out of it. But first, it was suggested that I created arena crates, which I didn't realize I could actually make. But it is just a normal shulker box, planks, and then four Benio type gems, which I actually do have quite a few of. So I think instead of having four normal shulker boxes, what I can go ahead and do, well, if I had planks on me, I can go ahead and make an arena crate, which basically functions like a shulker box, but it's double in inventory space. So I'm going to go ahead and make two of those. It was also said that if I get infinity in this mod pack, I will not need other arrows. And I'm pretty sure that I have, it appears that I do not, but what I do have are more villagers. Aha! Infinity! And that is actually really, really cheap. I definitely need to lock that in. ASAP. Infinity. Boom! So if what I've been told is correct, I should no longer need arrows in order to fire this thing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, no arrows in any of these inventories or on me at all. And I can shoot all I want. Excellent. So I think with that, I am now ready. I have my vault crystal, I have my wooden storage crate, and yeah, I think I have everything. Let's just go ahead and do this. Let's hope we get a good one. Okay. All right, we didn't get any modifiers this time around, which I'm quite happy about. And the first room is a crystal room. I am very happy about that actually, because one of the things that I will be looking for in this vault will be well, all of these crystals. Now I've just hit escape here so I can pause the game because it was suggested that I use my mouse buttons, mouse four and mouse five for things like cleanse or dash. This way I will very easily be able to select and use set ability. All right, one crystal down, other crystals to go. I'd really like to get more ancient debris as well in order to complete my armor set. Ooh, two pieces of ancient debris. Do give. One thing that I don't like about this room is how much glass you pick up. It is kind of annoying. <laughs> Ooh, that's an omega chest. Okay, so far so good. That is this room. I have not set a way mark, I just realized. Oh, wait a minute. That's a valuable one. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, found our first obelisk. Probably won't be finding the boss in this vault. Oh, village room. Village room. Let us dig down. Hopefully there's a stronghold with useful stuff. Okay, can't tell anything as of right now. But we do have a gilded chest right here though. Another good thing about the strongholds are, well, ores in the walls, as you can see. Ores in the walls. That kind of rhymed. Another gilded chest. Very nice. Whoa. Hello, buddy. Nope. Nope. Bad. Bad. Okay. That's what you get. That ability is useful for multiple things, <laughs> not just boss fighting. Yeah, from the looks of things, we did not get a stronghold with an end gateway. Okay, you know what? This stronghold is actually not half bad at all. Whoa! Okay. Okay, hello. Do I have a water bottle? No, I don't. Okay. Okay. I did not expect that to be trapped. That got me. 
I barely even reacted to the explosion at first. That's how but they're okay. That's how little I was expecting it. <gasps> Our first vault diamond! Our first vault diamond! Nice! We need eight more. <laughs> we need eight more in order to be able to make our very first knowledge star. That is really, really good. All right, one minute left. I think I'm gonna head home. And we got a lot of good stuff from that. Look at all of this. We got three new traders. So we can buy a storage upgrade. We can buy vault cookies and we can buy oak drawers. We got our very first power bar gives me strength four for 30 seconds. That is really, really useful for when fighting bosses. And I will restock my splash potions of instant health. And we got our very, very first vault diamond. One of our most valuable resources at this point in time. All right, we have some vault cookies. <laughs> can we get to level seven? <laughs> We can indeed. So now we have two more unspent skill points. Relic booster packs. And mystery boxes. Okay. Pixie Apple gives you speed five, jump two and slow falling for two minutes. And we are now able to make our fourth Netherite ingot and upgrade our boots. And again, it's the smithing table. Boom. Full netherite armor. We also got a bunch of vault ores, which are really good. And the rest are mainly vanilla stuff. So what do we do now? Well, other than using unspent skill points, I want to craft even more vault crystals. But that means honey. And I have barely touched bees in Minecraft before, so... Yeah, this is gonna go well. I basically need to locate a beehive, but I also want to use these eggs up here. I have sheep spawn egg, I have pig spawn egg, I have cow spawn egg, and I have chicken spawn egg. Three of each, perfect to start up a farm. I want to start up a little bit of a farm area over there, maybe down here. Yeah, probably over there where it's nice and flat. What? How did, how? How, how did that happen? Okay then. Yeah, I think something like that and then just some fences and some light of course. And this should be sorted. So, I think let's put sheep in this one. Hey fellas, cows in another one. Some moo cows. And then I'm gonna repeat it right over here. Pigs in here and chickens. All right, I want to use my two skill points and one of them is going to be upgrading dash yet again to dash power level three it's just one point and the next one i'm going to take is experience this means that i get plus 50 percent of the xp i would normally get so this is really really nice to have so with that done i have a little weed area over there i don't know if the animals are even like loading in with me being over here otherwise i'll just have to move it but good enough for now honey that is my issue at the moment and i am not sure where to find beehives I guess a great place to start is this vanilla forest over here, actually. And this one over here as well, so I will be checking that out right off the bat. So let's equip our elytra. Dash level three. Woo! Now I could also plant a bunch of trees and hope that one of them will spawn naturally with a beehive. But like I said, I have never farmed with bees before, so that's one. Haha, <laughs> that's one. So I'd rather just do this for right now. And it is even full. So... Why did that one have a pink thing? Okay, I think they're gonna get angry at me if I don't put a campfire down, actually. But that was easy. I feared I had to go, like, quite far with no real idea what I was looking for <laughs> in order to get what I needed. But nope, that was... That was easy. All right, I'm gonna put the campfire right there and I should be able to do just that. Okay, I will look in that forest to see if there's another bee nest because, or beehive I should say, because that will be pretty good because now I need to wait for this thing to recharge. I need six bottles and I also need three honeycombs. So while they're working, it would be very cool if there was another one right over here somewhere. 
haven't seen one so I think I'm just going to stick to the one that is over here and I'm just gonna have to hang around it until well until I have what I need this has taken far too long <laughs> oh dear Oh dear me. But I believe I have everything that I need now. I have the honeycomb and I have the honey bottle. Time to head back. I want to say that took me around an hour or so. So I definitely need to set up a bee farm. I just have never done it before. So that's probably something that I'll do in between episodes or something like that. That is complete. Now I just need the magma block, which I have zero of. That is 43 exactly. And catching. That was a little bit of a pain. Now, what I want to do is I want to make as many of these as I can. So maybe four more vault rocks or something. And then I want to run maybe three or four vaults in complete succession, which I'm then going to make into a little bit of a montage. So it's a little bit different from what we've done before. 12 gold ingots, puzzle. Hmm, puzzle. Nope, that's Potzel. Now the very painful task. Mining it with a pickaxe because I don't have a silk touch shovel anymore. <laughs> and that's a stack. I think that should do it. Heading back. And 21 Potzel. Done. Perfect. Next one. I hate. I. I hate. That's easy, that's easy, that's... I haven't found a desert yet. I don't have cactus. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, these recipes are definitely starting to become more and more difficult to complete. Alright, honeycomb it is. Hey fellas, I'm back. Honeycomb, three. Good enough. One honeycomb as requested. Now the big issue. Cactus. I don't have a single cactus and by the looks of things I need to find a desert now in order to continue instead of going this way I'm actually gonna go in this direction I am gonna explore in this direction and see what we can find I'm looking for cactus and I find a jungle I feel like this is the complete opposite of what I need shipwrecks might actually have cactus as well so it's important when I find them that I give them a little bit of a look but nothing. Okay, good news. There's a savanna here and we also have a buried treasure somewhere. Savanna could maybe potentially lead to a desert. At least I'm hopeful. Buried treasure. Well, some pretty good stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe that we have a desert. Well, the cactus, if this is a desert. Well, this is a dunes biome. That's kind of useless. <laughs> Whoa, my game is laggy. What is this? I noticed that on the minimap, all those purple things is sand falling. Wow. That was a chain reaction effect. Well, that was something. Cactus. Mesa biome. Or whatever this is called. Red desert. That works. <laughs> I'm just gonna take all of this and I will grab... A bunch of red sand as well to make a proper cactus farm. We got what we came for. Well, I think it's safe to say that I have done a lot of exploring today. And we're home. Repair the elytra. Are you serious? Are you actually serious? I d How did that even... How did that... How did that happen? Since when does the table alter thing drag items from across the room? I was supposed to farm those. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Do I seriously have to go all the way back? Ugh. Finally, 14 cactus. This one was a bit of a pain. I had to travel all the way back. Well, over here to get that cactus. A little bit annoying, 
this Vault Crystal has been, but uh, we got it in the end. So that results in three new Vault Crystals in total. And yes, I was looking at refined storage. You, you saw nothing. But I have actually done a few more things other than just going to that Mesa biome in order to get the cactus. Because this time, I've actually set up a cactus farm and made it look somewhat pretty, I guess. Maybe. You could be the judge of that. But I also took some time to make this place with the animals look a whole lot better, in my opinion. And I also added a farming area over here so I can easier farm these mobs whenever I pass by. And a chest with all this stuff, of course. And uh, I guess now that I'm here, I might as well, if I can. Yep. I have also, just really quickly want to show you, added a fence over here. So hopefully that incident with the creeper won't happen again. But anyways, that is enough catching up. We got more vault crystals to craft. Let's see. I hate... I... I, I hate you. <laughs> now, thankfully, I do have two honeycombs right here, so everything else should be fairly easy to do on this one. Actually, quite happy to get rid of some of this. I, uh, I, I have too much in my chest. Okay, now I just need the apples, of which I unfortunately only have seven. It appears that I might need to farm oak trees very soon. Aha! Tenth apple. Replant the forest and feed the apples to the vault altar. Perfect. Okay, this one might be a little bit tricky. Oh! I am done. I have two saddles. In that case, this should be easy enough to get. I don't have looting on my sword, but I do have... Yep. I do have villagers. Boom. Boom. Haha! Looting three. That's expensive. But it's one of those things where you just gotta take it when you see it, right? And also because it's a thing you only buy once or twice. Combine. And I also have these. And there we go. From 10.5 damage to 11.5. This is an upgrade. Alright. Time to hunt for zombies. Ow. <laughs> Ooh, a zombie in full iron armor. That's cool. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, the sun is coming up and I have enough rotten flesh. Ow. So I think this should be... Yep, perfect. I think in the very near future that we will be setting up a general mob farm just to make sure that we can always get like bones and arrows and gunpowder and stuff like that because... Yeah, we might start getting it in the in the vault altar here. And there we go. Okay, so I have five vault crystals now. I think I'm satisfied with that. Yeah, I'm so I'm I, I think I'm satisfied with that. <laughs> in fact, I do not have bamboo. Oh wait, I do have bamboo. But yeah, I do think that I'm satisfied with these five vault crystals right here. But yeah, setting up some farms for the next episode I think will be a good idea. But with that said, I think it is time to run even more. Vaults. So time to get changed. I think that this should do the trick. All right, here's the plan. I have five vault crystals. I want to run all five vault crystals. I want to fight at least one vault boss in one of these vault crystals, unless the conditions are absolutely horrible in all of them. But we are slowly running out of video time, so I'm going to do these a little bit different to all the other ones. I'm gonna do them a little bit faster. I'm not sure 100% what that means yet, but here we go. Crowded, gilded, ooh, hunger, ew. Difficulty, <laughs> okay, this is gonna be fun. I did that mistake again. Don't have any blocks. Oh, the hunger is an absolute pain. I just realized this. <laughs> ooh, vault diamond. Yes, two down. Whoa, hello. Two vault diamonds in a rare chest. Wow, I didn't exactly expect that. <laughs> wow, there are a lot of chests here. That's poison. I am tryharding this so hard. <laughs> Give me another vault diamond. We're getting so many this, this run. Ooh, city room. Oh, this is perfect. There are so many gilded chests in this room. Okay, that's an issue though. The biggest thing in this room, however, are the sewers heading down. I think that is pretty much all the chests in here. 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Wait, I have dash. Okay. <laughs> oh man, that was um hmm. Yeah, that 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 could have gone bad. Whoa. Hold up. <laughs> Unfortunately, I cannot turn it into honeycomb. Well, I can with that. Oh. But I can turn honey blocks into honey bottles. This is huge. I need a lot of this. B room for me just became extremely valuable. Another vault diamond. Yes. Vault mm, time. Yes, I shall. Worth it. I have two minutes remaining, but I have so much good loot that I don't want to risk it. So I'm out. Ooh we only got one arena crate full, but there is so much good loot here. Next vault though, I will not forget to bring blocks. Six vault diamonds. That means we now have seven. We are two off in order to be able to make our knowledge star. Got the honey. I'm so happy about the honey. I'll save like the mystery eggs and mystery boxes until we have run all the vaults that I want to run, but everything else can go to its rightful place. And we now have 11 netherite scraps in total. But with that, time for the second vault. Here we go. Hunger, trap, and plentiful. Okay. Um, I just I I have healing. I have healing, but I don't have much food <laughs> other than this. Which that might be a bit of an issue. But I might be able to find food in the vault. We did get plentiful though, so that's cool. This is a lot of honey. Yep. Food are definitely going to be a bit of a bit of a problem. Also, we only need four obelisks in this one. Ooh! Oh, that's very special. Sacrifice one minute. Yep, will do. Total buffer dying. Ooh, that's actually. Well, what's hitting me? What is hitting me? Oh, food. Right. <laughs> oh dear. Ooh, this is decent actually. We have a plentiful vault, which gives us. Even more ore, so that is actually really beneficial. I will be back. Right, this room, I like it. 14? Yeah, sure. Ooh, oh yeah. Third obelisk, huh? But I have found the fourth obelisk. Ooh, boy, I'm not in a good spot. This room is, I think, ideal, but and I even have a power bar, but I do not have any food, and I don't think these. Give me food. I do have this enchanted golden apple. I might be back. <laughs> I might be back because uh, food is a huge problem for me right now. In fact, so much so that I'm starting to take damage and I'm not able to run. Yep, I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here ASAP. It hurts me to leave this soon. I could definitely fight the boss had I gotten more food, but yeah. I think I just have to. Ah, uh, that was painful. It was painful that I had to bail that soon. Ah, uh, that was the all room and everything. Dang it. I messed up on that one. Just to make sure that that never happens again. Golden carrots. And I'm putting a stack in here. But, regardless, we did get a bunch of good stuff. We got a statue. Metamorphic. Metamorphic Mesa Stone. And we got this, a key piece, crafting ingredient for treasure keys. I think I know what this is for, but if we take a look at the recipe here, we need four of them and a key mold, which needs echo gems, which are legendary vault gems and netherite cluster with netherite ingots. And yeah, this is definitely further down the road. But I would say, despite the failure a little bit, overall, good enough of a success. Vault numero three. I probably said that completely wrong. Okay, difficult. I think I can handle that. We need three obelisks in this one. Even better than last time. And I do agree that this is an omega chest. Ooh, village room. Oh. Yeah, I think we need, I think this is what we need the keys for. I think that is what we need the keys for. If you guys know what that is, please do let me know down below in the comments. Unfortunately, don't think that we have an end room, but at least we got a vault diamond. Yes. Unfortunately, no portal, but it was worth it nonetheless. Second obelisk, and I have spotted the third, but I don't know if this is a good room to fight the boss in. Uh, I guess this is as good as room as any. You didn't expect me to just jump right into it like that? Yeah. 
Me neither. How about hearty apples and this just as an emergency? Not gonna lie, my heart is beating a little bit here. Okay, this lasts for 30 seconds. I'm gonna eat all these hearty apples. Okay, they only give you two six hearts. I didn't know that. Okay, eat this and summon. Boogie man, hello. Okay. I do have a totem of undying as well. Fire is not fun. Okay, half health. I'm actually not taking that much damage. I wonder, can I use my bow? I can. Whoa. Whoa. You gotta keep doing damage. You can teleport. Didn't know you could teleport. Okay. I might have lost my strength. Gonna make sure it didn't. Come on. I did it. I got the boss crate. Okay. Wait, I did it. <laughs> I defeated my first boss vault. Vault boss. Boss vault. Whatever. <laughs> I did it. I defeated my first vault boss. My heart is pumping a bit. I do realize that I could have looted more. I forgot it would teleport me out, but I'm not gonna complain. I'm not going to complain at all. Okay, let's go through this stuff first and get it out of the way. Maybe let my heart calm down a bit. We did get another Vault Diamond, so we're just one Vault Diamond away. Okay, guys. The Vault Crate. I've never opened one of these before, but here we go. Whoa. Okay, the... Okay, wow. That's a lot here. I'm gonna just organize that real quick. Okay, okay, let's go through this. Vault Dust. I... Ooh, so you can craft hearty apples, vault nuggets, pixie apples, and sweet apples. Okay, that's really cool. Got vault cookies, iron, another right, bronze coins, really good. We got some gems as well. Golem apple, vault power up, gives you 10% resistance for two minutes. That's useful. Ghost apple, gives you 15% parry for two minutes. We got gold, we got a bummy, bum, bummy ignite gem. <laughs> wow, that. That's a mouthful. A bunch of bottle of enchanting, bunch of emeralds, a dragon head, a trident, four diamonds, and four candy bars. That is awesome. And this functions as a shelter box as well. I'm gonna get these potions, fill up my supplies, and I will actually go ahead and upgrade, because turns out we have enough to completely upgrade all of our tools to netherite. Just like so. We are fully equipped. So with that, we're gonna jump to yet another vault. Whoa, okay, we got strong, plus one strength, gilded, weakness, that's fine, lucky, and easy. I love this. <laughs> this is gonna be great. I can I can one-shot zombies again. I have found the first obelisk. I don't know if I dare fighting another boss though. A vault diamond. We now have nine vault diamonds in total. This is awesome. Two vault diamonds. Let's go. <laughs> Third obelisk. Ooh, village room. <gasps> Portal room. Okay, I, I, I ran past everything else. Hold on. <laughs> this is my first ever portal room. I have never been in one before, but these things are really, really, really good. Okay, so we take this. We grab an eye of ender. Plop it in and boom. And then what you can do is select vein miner. Whoa, what just happened? What just what what just whoa 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 what just happened? What just was that trapped? I actually think that was trapped. I actually think that one was trapped. Um I I need to try again. Okay, yes. This is what's supposed to happen. <laughs> Oh man, you can dig them and spits out the items inside of it. Okay, that was not very friendly of it. No, that got me. Boom. That was a lot of loot. Was that smooth or what? Ooh, mm-hmm. So, the option has been given to me. I'm gonna go do it. I'm gonna go do it. I'm I'm huh, I'm gonna go do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna regret it, but I'm gonna go do it. If it goes south, I can run. I should take into consideration that this is an easy vault, so I should have a f 
fairly okay time taking care of this. I will, as always, have my emergency backup, a power bar. I'm gonna eat hearty apples. I can't believe I'm about to do this again. I will this time equip Rampage. I'm not gonna take speed, that's just gonna make everything worse. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of these guys first. Let's go. Boogeyman again, huh? Uh, for some reason... Oh. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> my, my, my thing, my rampage wouldn't activate, but then I realized... How quick was that death? That was insanely quickly. Wow. Oh, it's snowing. Okay, I did not expect it to be that quick. Look at this. 13 volt diamonds. Got another statue, which generates netherrack. And some of these statues are actually done for, uh, except for that one. Yeah, these guys are pretty much done. Star mute as well. Paul is about to be as well. But I'm going to save these because we can actually use them in the future. Now let's take a look at the second boss crate of the day. I can't believe we've been, we have defeated two bosses today. Here we go. Ooh. Okay, diamonds, vault dust, emerald, puffin... Puff, puffium gem, a unique vault gem, cool, gift a statue, more golem apples, and netherite, and phantom membrane. Not as good as our last one, but still pretty good. Now I do have one more vault crystal, but I'm gonna save it. We just ran four vaults in great succession. We've defeated two vault bosses, and if you look in these chests, we now have a bunch more resources than we did before, and I didn't even open all of this yet. So we got stress monsters selling hearty apples right here for two bronze. That is actually pretty good trade. 39 mystery boxes. Oh yeah. Oh, bo oh, oh dear. <laughs> um, this, this, this is a lot. Hold on. Let me... <laughs> this is too much. Okay, the situation is now somewhat under control. Let's get back to... The Relic Booster Packs. Nice. Mystery Eggs. Wow. Chicken. Cow. Polar Bear. Well, I'm gonna be using these down in the farm. Next, we have 25 Vault Cookies, <laughs> of which I'm just gonna eat them all. Because they stop working at like 12, level 25 or something, so might as well, right? I think we'll be able to get to maybe level 11 or 12? <laughs> okay, 11. Oh? Oh. Okay, maybe 12. Oh? I don't believe it. 12. And we can't, we, we can't just leave these out to rot. There we go. <laughs> 12 and a half. We now have five unspent skill points. Do let me know what you think I should take down below in the comments. I'm not going to use them just now. However, Elvish is tempting because permanently remove all possible fall damage. Yeah, that's tempting. Step is also, yeah, it, it, it's cool. But if you remember, we started off with a mission in this episode to make an knowledge star. This thing right here. And I believe that we now have all the ingredients that we need in order to make this thing. So let's have a look. We need eight star shards. We already have four. So that's eight. Next, we need the star core, of which we need four Larimar gems and four perfect Larimar gems, of which we have that. Next thing is we need a Volt Diamond block. Boom. And we have four Volt Diamonds left over. So now let's go ahead and make that very expensive but very worth it core. And surround it with the Star Shards. And there we go. Our very, very first Knowledge Star. And I'm gonna use it. Boom. One unspent Knowledge Point. And if we go in here, we can now use it in here, as you can see right here, something that costs just one, we could take it. But I'm not gonna use it today. No, we're gonna do that in the next episode. You all probably hate me, but yeah, we'll be using it in the next episode. I wanna see what you guys think we should use it on. But guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. We did a lot. I keep opening the wrong one. This, it's so boring in here. We got a lot out of today's episode. We did a lot of progress and I'm super excited. 
to keep going with this. So guys, if you enjoyed the episode, be sure to leave it a like. And if you're new, do consider hitting that subscribe button and enabling all notifications. And yeah, I hope to see you in the next episode. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And wait, I have, I have this thing, right? Yep. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. Goodbye. <laughs>